Hi, my name is Tyler Mitchell, and I'm a third-year athletic training student at the University of South Carolina. Today, I will be talking about the Snell and Eye Chart exam. This exam is used to determine the smallest letters you can read on the standardized chart. The, re the results from this exam can be useful in screening a patient's visual acuity. To start the test, have your patient stand 20 feet away from the Snell and Eye Chart. If they are wearing a hat, have them remove it. If the person wears contacts or glasses, make sure they are wearing th them for this exam. Have the patient cover one of their eyes and have them read the very bottom line of the chart from left to right. Inability to read all the letters correctly requires the patient to restart this process but the next line above. The patient then repeats this for the other eye. A normal eyesight is considered 20-20. The first number refers to the distance in feet at which you stand from the chart, and the second number indicates the distance at which a normal person can read the same line correctly. A person with 20-20 vision can see what an average person can see on an eye chart when they are standing 20 feet away. A person with 20-40 vision can see the same size layers at 20 feet that a normal person can see at 40 feet. A patient with a score above 20-40 is usually referred to an ophthalmologist for further evaluation.